Hi, I'm Josh Deckert, former host of Plattsburgh Tonight. However, Plattsburgh Tonight has been rebranded into Platts Tonight 2.0. Seven. Before, this show was comparable to Walmart. We were kind of dingy, it was inefficient, however, our bathrooms were remarkably spotless. But now those days are over. We're Target now. Converse season's over. The vans are in. That's not product placement, by the way. <laughs> to start off this uh, new season, I wanted to have my very good friend, Yvonne Diaz, on the show. Me and Yvonne, we go way back. We've been in all the classes together. We've cheated on assignments together. It's, it's been great. It's been a great four years. So I wanted her on the first episode of season two. So give it up for my good friend, Yvonne Diaz. Hey yeah. Thanks, thanks for having me, man. I got to say, I'm really happy you're here. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. You know, I'm the Yvonne Diaz here on your show. You're, you are the five foot two Yvonne Diaz. Yep. That's correct. Five two with an attitude, you know? Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> that's what they I say. like that. The way you're dressed, though, compared to me, like, really just shows exactly what direction this show has gone. We're out here in the spring. So we only on. got, like, I can't do the math. X I amount think, of weeks left yeah. until we graduate, but I, I am going to miss Chuggamug. What do we have? Like, 12? 12 weeks left here this semester? It might be less. It's like 10. 10? This is week five. Yeah. 10 weeks. And then we got the winter break, and then another 15 weeks. It's 25 then, weeks, man. It's 25 is it 25? Weeks. 25. Okay. Not including the break. But if we got 15 next semester, 10 now, it's 25. Quick maths, man. I <laughs> know. I feel like really uneducated <laughs> that I couldn't do the math that quick. It's so. all right, man. Yvonne's good at math, you know. Yeah, no, that's one of her specialties. Yeah, one of my <laughs> specialties. For this episode, we're talking pigeons. We're, we're really leading into a pigeon vibe. That was part of our contract. So um, this morning, we actually took a camera, me and a couple other managers, and we went around to interview the local campus community, students, unsuspecting professors, um, other faculty that were really not interested in talking about pigeons. And we wanted to get their opinion on you know, are birds real? Are, are pigeons really just government drones sent to spy on us? Um, so before that, though, uh, we're going to cut to some extremely local Plattsburgh-only uh, broadcast messages. But when we come back, we got some financially insane pigeon content. So stay tuned. Stick around. I want to welcome you to yet another version of After Hours here on PSTV. And welcome to another installment of Talk Nerdy to Me. You look excited. Yeah. I'm freezing. I'm Lauren Weiss. And I'm Kyle Bryant. Let's take a look at today's top stories. Two minutes of the finest in news that you need to know about. And now it's time for a PSTV News special report. Score is yeah! With two seconds left! We're here for Platts Tonight 2.07. We're in the ACC next to those really lovely looking donuts. Let's get a close up. You're doing great, you're doing God's work. Today we're asking people if they can spot a difference between these two pictures. If we have just two guys walking around harassing people with the camera, not a good look for us. So we got Jess here. Yep, I'm Jess. That's Jess. All right, Jess, you ready to go talk to people about pigeons? I'm so ready. All right, let's get into it. I want you to tell me if you can find a difference in the two pictures I'm gonna show you. I mean, they're both machines, so. Do you want to say, like, your full government legal name and social security number for the camera? No. Okay. <clears throat> this is Jess. She's here to make you feel more comfortable. Hi, Jess. Hi. I want you to tell me if you find a difference between these two images. I do. What is it? It's a pigeon and a printer. Okay, well, first of all, that's a fax machine. So I'm going to show you this image, and... I want you to tell me if there is a difference between these two pictures. There is a difference. <clears throat> Sorry, I have COVID. But the pigeon, like, look at that. Do you honestly think that looks real? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It's not. It's a piece of paper. This is Jess. She's here to make you feel more comfortable because obviously we're two grown guys. If we just came up to you with the camera, you'd probably be a little freaked out. How do you feel, though, that Jess is here? Um, I'm comfortable. So what does look like it's like a printer or like a... It's a fax machine. Fax machine, okay. And then the other one's a pigeon or like a bird. So... 
So you think they're they're two different devices? I would, I would say so. Do you think one is a machine and one is also another machine that's maybe disguised as an animal? I I could see that also. Do you have any like messages of hatred or anger that you want to say, like stare right into the camera if you want to make a threat? Like that's also fine too. Okay. I think it would be a great idea to bring late night back. Do you maybe want to kill someone in charge over this issue? Um, I would not be down for that. We're making Jess open the door to see if there's a class in there. Your history ed? Yeah. So you might have a lot to say about this issue. Right. What is the difference between these two pictures? Um, that's a bird. That's a printer. So it's actually a fax machine. Oh. You got it. They're both machines okay. is what we're trying to convey, because oh. birds are not real. They've been sent by Chartwells and CAS to make us be more submissive into accepting the on-campus dining plan. Are you an aviationist? Or? There's a bug in your jacket right It's fine. He works here. He's literally right there. It's fine. He works here. They're having sex in my sleeve. <laughs> what the f***? What do you teach? History. History? Like history ed or just history? History. Okay. That's great because we've been looking for like a history, a historical point of view here. Okay. Maybe you could help us out. So we're with the business and finance school okay. um, doing like a little interview here. This is Jess. She's here to make you feel more comfortable. Yeah. Are you familiar with the device on the right? Well, yeah, I think it looks like a fax machine maybe. That's something, very, yeah. something from your time, I think. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you find a difference between these two images? Yes. What's the difference? One is a bird and one is a machine. You wouldn't say that the one on the left is also maybe a machine? Uh, not, no, not by my definition. It has sort of, no, no, I wouldn't. So the answer we were looking for um, is that, like, the bird is not real. Like, pigeons are just like government drones. Maybe you could oh, weigh yeah. in on the conspiracy from a historical point of view, like the Ronald Reagan era. Uh, we heard someone say that. So Jess is here to make you feel more comfortable. I Do you feel more <laughs> Do you f she makes you feel, all right, Jess, get out of the frame. We we just want we just we just want to make you feel more comfortable. So we have two pictures here, and do you find a difference between these two images? Uh, one's alive. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you think you think the bird is real, or do you think they're both machines? All right. <laughs> you, uh, w really, we're going this route? I don't like. I don't appreciate the bird being called out for being technology. You have a bird app on your phone. I went through a breakup. I had to, you know, listen, we all, <laughs> we all rebound in weird ways. What, what, what kind of projects do your students do? Uh, mine work specifically is we do molecular modeling. So we model compounds, run some calculations, get some cool energies and properties based on these results. Wow. We, um, we do this. Hang on. <laughs> This is what we. This is what we're doing. So if if I was in your class and I made like a molecular model, um, that's what that's what you're working on. Right, right. And if I made a molecular model on a pigeon, do you think I'd get maybe a B minus? Um, I mean maybe. If you if you <laughs> could if you could do all the molecules that make up a pigeon, you'd probably get an A. So that's yeah. like oxygen. That's yeah, one of them, right? Yeah. Radon, uh, radon, uh, maybe. helium. Depends on where they live, I suppose. They might have some radon. Probably some titanium, because yeah, they're not real. This is the Lake Champlain Research Institute. We have our, our flyer here. We just did this campus a huge favor. Welcome back to Platts tonight, 2.07. Um, we do have, you're not Yvonne Diaz. We'll just get right to the point. Yeah, man. What is your name, sir? I'm Jorge Cabrera, man. I, I'm sorry, Yvonne. I can't, can't, I can't compare to you, man. Like, can't lie. Just, you're not 5'2". I'm not 5'2", with Far an attitude. From. I'm not. I'm <laughs> like 6'2". It's a whole foot nah, tall. Are, I think you're like 6'1", man. 2'2", <laughs> <six, six, laughs> man. So bring out the measurements. You're going to get tight <laughs> about that? <laughs> 
When did you renew your license? When's the last time you renewed it? Did it online, man. You didn't update the height? You can see the picture, man. Do I look like this right now? Nah. I look nothing like that. 5'11". I was 5'11", I was 16, man. So imagine me now. 21 yeah. years old. There's no way I'm not 6'2". I love how your eyes say, bro. Now, Jorge, obviously this whole episode, we are contractually obligated to make this show pigeon-themed. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be playing a little game show called Guess That Pigeon. Are you ready? I think I'm pretty familiar with pigeons, you know? I'm in the city a lot, you know? From there, yeah. The, you're, you know the locals. I know the, the pigeons. The local pigeons. The yeah. pigeon gangs. So how- They're how terrifying, does, man. <laughs> they beat you up. Dude, got beat up by a pigeon before. Yeah. No cap, no lie. They, they fly up to you and they just slap you with their wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they do. Yeah. Take your lunch money on your way to school and stuff. <laughs> Robin, eight-year-old Jorge. So how this game works is there's three rounds, mm -hmm. and each round I'm going to give you a clue, and you have to guess which pigeon like I'm talking about. Gotcha. And each, if you get it right, you get a point. Uh, if you don't get it right, you're not going to get a point, obviously. What do I get like, if you when win? I win, yeah. Something tells me that you're not going to win. Oh, but man. if you win, okay. we'll think of something. We'll, we'll settle up after the show. You know? Can I like take over the show if I win? Uh, I'll let you... If you win, let, let me think. I'll wash one of your shirts for you. Oh, okay, cool. Like, I'll all take right. one of your, your dirty shirts, I'll put it with my laundry, and I'll wash Just, it. All right, that's, that's a fair trade. I think so, yeah. Dude, now, <laughs> I gotta wash clothes, man. I, I got you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just one, though. Just one. Just one shirt. Yeah, not, not a load. That's nah, okay. Just, like, one, one shirt. shirt. I just need one shirt washed. It's all right. This first clue, I'm gonna play a sound, okay. and you have to guess what pigeon is making that sound. All okay? right, I got Are you, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. And now, it might play an ad, because I'm playing this on my phone. Okay, what pigeon made that sound? It sounded like something was like crying for help, but if I gotta guess what pigeon it was, dude, that's like some pigeon from like Boston, man. You yeah. think that's a pigeon from Boston? That's a, pi that's a pigeon from Boston. You're close. Damn. That pigeon was actually from the Pittsburgh area. Pittsburgh. 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 I now, our next clue, this one's a visual one. Okay, cool. So this is round two. So I don't get like a point for that? I was wrong. Well, did you guess Pittsburgh? No, I guess Boston. Yeah. Well then, why would I give you a point for guessing wrong? Because I still guessed that it was a pigeon, you know? <laughs> Just a When I told you it was a pigeon. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. <laughs> okay, Jorge, what pigeon does this stuff belong to? If you want to get a look at that. Yeah, I, yeah. SRT pigeon, you know, the newest model, 2024. So you agree that this is like not from an animal pigeon, but this is from like a government drone that's, pigeon? That's from the drone Sent by pigeons. the Ronald Reagan administration? Most definitely, in the 80s, yeah, yeah. That's, I, that's my guess. I do think that this is part of like the SRXB-12 line. Uh, I don't know, nah. SRT 2024, man, look at that. Look how brand new that looks. Yeah, no, this totally That's like looks new and improved new. stuff <laughs> yeah. right there. No, that's you got the- really good equipment, man. You got the lens on that side of it. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, I'll give you points because you did recognize that this was from a machine. All pigeons are drones, man. Yeah. Government spies. It's sent by the Reagan administration. Yeah. You got one point. Yeah. This is. I got a point, man. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh this yeah. Is, this is round three. I'm gonna play another sound for you. Cool. And you have to guess which pigeon made that sound. There might you. be an ad though for this. So. That's fine. It's all right. Can't afford YouTube premium. Music, I I, can't, I refuse to. Just ad. No, this is the sound. Oh. <laughs> okay. Very pleasant. I'd have that on repeat all the time, man. Yeah. It's, it's a bop. It is a bop. <laughs> now, Jorge, which pigeon made that sound? I'm going to say... I'm going to say... I don't think that came from a bird, Josh. <laughs> I'm going to say it, it came from, you could put a picture next to this, you know. It's, it came from the African owl pigeon, you know. Those are the ones that be in, in New York City. 
The that African definitely came from that, yeah. That's your final answer. That's my final answer. Jorge, that is correct. Oh, wow. Nice job. I knew you had it in you. Oh, man. I, I told you. We I got the you, share man. of pigeonology right here. Yeah, man. That's he guessed me. it. That's me, man. You, you did get one wrong, but you got the other two right. So I still won. And Jorge, I will wash one of your shirts now for you. Dude. This, this, was, it. this was it. We did it. Am I, am I washing this? If you'd be so kind, man. You know? I'll, I'll take it. Dude, please, thank you. I will, I will wash this in my laundry for you. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the first episode of Platts 2.07. Stay tuned for next episode, episode two, episode three. Who knows? At that point, we might even be Costco. So keep watching. Stick around. See you next time.